this video, I want to open up a can of worms with the trips that I did. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're new to the channel, I want to let you know about our Patreon. If you've not joined that yet, I would ask you to consider it. It's only $10 a month. It's the best way that you can support my content that I do. And it's also the best way I think you can get better because we have 15 uh, offensive and defensive guys that you will get instant access to by joining the Patreon. They also get updated uh, routinely. Uh, we go through and pretty much release new content over at the Patreon every single week with new updates, pro player film breakdowns, new eBooks that we work on. Um, so as long as your $10 a month subscription is active, you get access to everything. We don't hold anything back. You get access to absolutely everything. So if you want to join that, I'm gonna put a link to the Patreon in the description of the video. You can just click on that and go get signed up for that. Now, uh, I love the trip site information. It's probably my favorite, at least just the one that I love the most or enjoy the most running, um, just because there's so much you can do with it. And um, it really starts with this PA counter go. Now, I want to explain a concept to you uh, in this video of something that you might consider. Now, I'm going to set just a couple audibles. And really what it is, is it is turning this trip side in into what I would say is like the perfect spacing for an offense, right? We're going to be able to turn this almost into a spread offense. It kind of already is one, but we're going to turn this even in into a spread offense even more so with a specific motion that I'm excited to talk about because there's a lot of things you can do with it, especially if you have Hot Route Master um, or Tight End Apprentice. There's a lot that you can do with this motion. So I just wanted to dive into it with you this morning uh, so or uh, this evening. So PA Counter Go. Um, all right, so we're PA Counter Go. Now, why do we like PA Counter Go? We like PA Counter Go because of this right here, um, what it allows us to do against the Mike Blitz 3. And what that is, is if I was just to go to curl flat and block my running back, what you'll see here is this contain will loop around and we'll get my quarterback, as you can see right there. Um, and this is similar to 245 odd. Same basic thing is gonna happen out of 245 odd. Same basic thing is gonna happen out of, out of pretty much any formation. But why we like PA counter go so much is it makes it really hard um, for the opponent to be able to blitz us because we just cancel the play action. He steps up and picks up all the pressure and then we have time to throw the ball. So what this basically means is we don't necessarily need our tight end on the line of scrimmage um, to pick up any pressure. Also, let's say for example, and you've seen this motion before if you've watched the MCS, we can motion the back out and now we have the tight end to pick up pressure, which is one of the best ways to pick up, I mean it's the best pretty much way to pick up pressure in Madden this year is to block your tight end. So as you can see here, we can still create a lot of more route concepts and get more spacing out of this formation. And uh, what I want to propose in this video is that you run a concept that looks kind of like this, where you motion this tight end to the outside and you put some plays in your playbook that are really effective for that. Here you see we're just going to run a basic PA counter go Y cross, kind of clear out play to try to get this crosser open. As you see, it works like a charm. But the beauty of this is you can actually take this a step further. And that's with the tight end apprentice. So with the tight end apprentice, what you might know about this is that if someone wants to lock down this tight end post um, right here, this is a very popular route combination. But if somebody wants to lock this down, all they need to do is really call a cloud, basic cloud flat on that left side, and he'll cover that. Okay, and the reason why he's able to get there is because primarily of spacing, right? The tight end basically runs himself into uh, coverage. But let's take this concept just a little bit further. And let's say to the tight end, hey, you know what? Why don't we motion you to the outside? So we're gonna put him on a tight end apprentice post, motion to the outside here. And now what you're gonna see is really, really good spacing for this concept. And because of this, what you're going to notice here is now your slant is actually more open than it ever was before. And look at how open this tight end is over the top. It's going to get over almost every zone drop in the game. And as you can see, it puts them in a really bad position because now the play has more room to be able to get open. Okay, I think that's a huge, huge concept with this. Now, you certainly don't want to just run one concept. So let me show you another one that I like. And this one's actually literally all hot routes. All we're gonna do is put the tight end on a flat route. We're gonna put the running back on a wheel, streak the circle receiver, and then we have a flat and a drag concept on the back side of this, and we're just gonna motion this tight end to the outside. 
By doing so, what this is going to do is it's going to give us perfect spacing. Go back to the gun bunch for just a second and think about gun bunch. Now we just have absolutely impeccable spacing, and we can throw this wheel to the running back. So now they have to consider, well, I can't really blitz them because of the, of the wheel route, right? That wheel route will beat every blitz in the game. If they want to, let's say, for example, that you're playing somebody and they want to try to man, you know, play man coverage on the wheel, and we've talked about this before here on the channel, this wheel route right here, if you have a pull route, it's almost impossible to guard. You're going to see right here, we're just going to low ball, and you're going to be able to beat man coverage. So they're going to have to go user that side of the field. Well, now, again, we just continue to open up concepts. Let me give you another one real quick, right off the top of my head. And again, you want to go crazy with this. Literally, I want you to go through and just literally think of all of the different route combos that you can create with this offense. I mean, I think it's one of the better uh, ways that you could potentially play in this game. So now what we're going to do is go with something like this. Obviously, we're going to use her over here in the middle of the field. And, um, you know, just for sake of illustration here, they're going to have to go use her this route. So we're going to go to the play PH slot corner. And we're going to put the outside guy on a uh, zig or a smoke, put the inside guy on a uh, streak, and then we're going to do our flat and our wheel concept on the back side. So now we have the flat wheel. They've got a user to the right side of the screen, so they got to go user over there. And now what that's going to do is it's going to leave your corner route over on this side. So you see how this offense can really build off of one another and really kind of put a uh, piece together something. Another one that just right off the top of my head that I think is a very, very good example uh, of a really, really effective concept uh, specifically for, you know, in, any kind of pressure. Um, if they try to really start to kind of come underneath and play you, you know, ultimately you're going to get a lot of Mabel coverage if you run trips tied in because they're going to try to stop your crossers and corner routes. And what that's going to do, though, is it's going to leave opportunity for you to basically be able to hit them in the middle of the field. For example, if I take the tight end, put him on a curl, motion him to the outside, and then I'm going to take my running back, and we're just going to put him on either a table route or a flat route, something simple like this, and then we can easily go with a concept that looks like this. Well, now, if you take a look at how this is going to play out, you see you got that curl route wide open on the outside, and it just attacks different points of the defense that I think could be very advantageous uh, to your offense. Let me give you one more while I'm thinking about it, and that's this tight end apprentice crosser. Now, we, um, the beauty of the tight end apprentice crosser is the fact that um, you're going to be able, and you're still able to pick up pressure because you're running back, right? Um, so the fact is, the fact of the matter is, let's say, for example, that we're getting um, let's say, for example, that we're getting a Mabel coverage. Okay, so we're just going to get some Mabel coverage out here. And, um, and what you're going to see with this tight end apprentice crosser is we're going to put them in a position where they really have to think about how they're going to guard this because if you because you've given it more time to run, he's, he's still not going to get as deep as a 30-yard cloud, but notice that you can throw that right in front of a 30-yard cloud. So it's how you can kind of use some chess and, um, and, and really be able to build around this offense. Now, uh, and then the, the beauty of that, it doesn't stop there. So let's say, for example, um, I'll give you one of my favorite route combinations in this game. It is this right here. So we're going to uh, flat Miller, we're going to in route Evans, and we're going to slant uh, Godwin. And then we're going to go ahead and block our tight end, and we're going to ghost route the running back, and we're going to actually motion him to the outside. And what you're going to notice with this is this is a very good little underneath kind of passing concept. You see, it almost is basically like a, a smoke screen, but better because it pulls zones better, and you see how this works. So there's so many things that you can do just based around this fact. Obviously, you can do some of your standard stuff, right? You can still run trips tight end as trips tight end, but you can also run it like this and get more concepts um, and give the defense more things that they have to consider and more things that they have to worry about. If they're running 30-yard clouds, then you can go to this curl flat play. Another play that I really, really like um, against the 30-yard or the double Mabel 30-yard uh, cloud flat, because you got to remember, it's pretty obvious they're going to try to use her any kind of crosser over the middle of the field here. So they're going to try to kind of sit in this mid-read type territory. But you could go to the play verticals, and uh, what you could do off of this now is say, let's say we're, we're going to go with a seam streak to uh, Gronkowski, 
But then what we're going to do is we're going to get really good spacing by motioning this guy out of the formation. And we can put him, honestly, on whatever we want. If we want to put him on a drag, we can. If we want to put him on a zig, we can. Whatever we want. But what you'll notice is now, look at all this grass that you can throw right up the middle of the field. So this is what makes this offense so good is that it not only can sit in almost like a, like you said, like a, you know, like a like standard trips tight end where it's just a complete misalignment on that backside. But now we can even take advantage of this type of concept right here that then is going to open up things like streak to the running back. Um, you know, just different things like this that you can do that adds another layer to everything. And the beauty of this is we don't sacrifice pass protection because we can use our play action to, to still have very solid pass protection and hit them where we want to hit them. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about this concept. I'll give more specifics, um, you know, down the road. But this is something that I personally wanted to try out, want to start doing. I think you should consider doing it as well. Uh, it's just a very, very effective way to play offense in this game. So that being said, guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. I also want to let you know and remind you that if you want to get access to my Patreon, it's only $10 a month and everything's in there. All my eBooks, all my schemes, all my pro player breakdowns, Everything is in there. We've got match defensive guides. We've got uh, pressure defensive guides. We've got um, zone drop based defenses. We've got to run defenses for days. We've got great offenses, in my opinion. So I would really encourage you, if you've not joined the Patreon yet, to consider it. It's only $10 a month, and it literally will make you a better Madden player within five to 10 minutes of being a member. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and feel free to check that Patreon out. If you were watching this and you want to go check it out, there's a link in the description. So just head on down to the description and click the link that I put down there for you.